Hi, my name's Jack Challoner, and I'm the author of Maker Lab, which is packed full of great science experiments that you can try at home. One of my favourite projects from the book is called Breathing Machine, and it explains how your lungs work and how air gets into your body and back out again. It's really simple to do, and all you need is a plastic bottle, two balloons, a bigger balloon, three straws, some electrical insulation tape, and some adhesive putty. You also need some scissors. Let's get straight into it. The first thing you're going to do is take your bottle, remove the cap, put that to one side because we'll need that in a minute. Then you're going to cut the bottle around about here. Next thing we're going to do, grab your straws, grab your scissors, and we're going to cut those straws to about four inches. That's about 10 centimetres. Next, we're going to take your two smaller balloons and we're just going to cut the ends off those. Take one of your straws and one of your cut balloons and we're just going to push the balloon over the end of the straw, wrap the rubber around and then we'll stick that in place and try and make it as airtight as possible. Do the same with your other straw and your other cut balloon. Now for a fiddly bit, we're going to take your third and final straw and your scissors and we're going to cut a slit in one end and two slits in the other end. So once you've made those cuts, we're going to fold the one end into two halves and the other into four pieces. Take that straw, which represents your trachea, and we're going to fit it into these two other straws, which represent uh, bronchi, and those are the tubes that lead straight to your lungs, which are these balloons. So let's fit those onto the end of the straw that's divided into two, just like that, and it should look like that. Then we're going to wrap some tape around that Make sure that that's airtight by trying to blow into it. That's pretty good. Now grab your bottle cap. We're going to make a hole in the middle with the scissors. And to protect your table, just use some of that uh, adhesive putty underneath. Grab the lungs with the straw and the bottle cap. And we're going to push the straw up through the bottle cap. Then we're going to fold the four flaps down into place. And we're going to tape them there. So once you've got those four in place, take a longer piece of tape and wrap that right around the bottle cap. Pop that to one side, take your bigger balloon, and we're just gonna cut it around about there. Tie this balloon off as you would if it was a blown up balloon. Stretch that over the open end of your cut bottle. Just push it over the end and let it go. Tape that in place just to hold that rubber securely. Grab your chest cavity, grab your lungs, pop the lungs inside, screw up the bottle cap nice and tightly and your breathing machine is finished. Uh, and what you need to do is just pull on your diaphragm, that's the rubber band at the bottom, and that will draw air into the lungs and when you let go the air gets pushed out of those lungs again. And for me, it really clearly explains how your lungs work, how they take in air and push it out again, and why that diaphragm muscle is so important. And all that with a plastic bottle, a couple of balloons, and some straws. And that's what I love about the maker movement. It's all about creating, building, inventing, discovering stuff, just using everyday objects. And you'll find lots of that spirit in Maker Lab. There's 28 really great projects in there for you to try at home. It's all laid out really simply, step by step, a little bit like a recipe book. So if you're interested in having a go and learning some science and having some fun, then get the book and go and make something.